A lot of fans will tell you the glory years of professional wrestling were the mid-90s. While you could argue whether or not that's true in terms of quality, in terms of popularity there's no question. More people were watching wrestling than ever before, and everyone had taken a side in the now legendary Monday Night Wars. It was a great time for wrestling. And it was a great time for wrestling video games. But before all the classics, like Revenge and No Mercy, there was this. Hey, even the best matches start slow. It's WCW vs. The World. So, let's put this one into context. WCW vs. The World was released in February of 1997. That's about nine months before WCW vs. NWO World Tour hit the Nintendo 64. And that was the one that really started it all. That was a great wrestling game. And from there you had Revenge, which might be the best of the era, as well as all the great WWF games too. So, in a way, WCW vs. The World was THQ's first step toward that greatness. That said, it was, it was definitely a baby step. So, uh, first things first, the game claims to have more than 50 wrestlers. While that's certainly technically true, only about a dozen of them are actually from WCW. The rest are made up. They're just, they're actually fictional characters based on international wrestlers. And personally, yeah, that, that's always struck me as more than a little deceptive to call this a WCW game when WCW literally makes up about a fourth of the roster. Now, of course, to be fair, it is called WCW versus the world. So the fact that WCW is just one of the game's many organizations kind of makes sense. And to be honest, I mean, it's actually an awesome idea to combine some of the world's biggest wrestling feds into one game. But the thing is, I mean, it's only an awesome idea if you actually have the actual feds. Without any licensing, WCW vs. The World takes a wink and a nod approach. So there's this Empire Wrestling Federation, right? It's actually based on All Japan Pro Wrestling. And the same goes for the wrestlers. So, uh, you know, this, this made-up Samoa guy is actually based on the legendary Giant Baba from All Japan. And it's the same for the four other fictional federations. But again, without the actual licensing, without the names, it just feels pointless. So the awesome idea is really only that, an awesome idea. And unfortunately, the gameplay isn't a whole lot better. Again, this was before the grappling system that defined revenge and the classic games of this era. So as a result, WCW vs. The World feels a bit clunky. Everything's based on how long you hold down buttons. So just tapping a button does something different than holding it longer before you let go. And frankly, that... It's not a terribly accurate or smooth way to play a wrestling game. And you know, I always say this, but man, polygons age really badly. And this game's really a perfect example. It just looks terrible. And it's not like you can say the same for the previous generation's wrestling games. A lot of the 16-bit wrestling games still look great. Sprites are, you know, they're basically impervious to aging. These early polygons, not so much. WCW vs. The World looks as old as it plays, and it doesn't sound much better. Now, to the game's credit, it does land some of its punches. Even if most of the wrestlers are just made up, it does have a pretty massive roster, especially for 1997. There's a lot of options, too. And the game does this really cool thing where, on the menu, the wrestlers have these cartoony profile pictures, almost like they're comic book heroes, which is awesome. And it actually gives the game more of that international flair, too. It's just a shame that, you know, in-game, you get awful polygons instead of cartoony sprites. Had the game carried that look over into the gameplay and made it 2D, well, that would have been sweet. But then again, it was, I mean, it was 1997, and we were obsessed with f***ing polygons. Brother. So I guess if you're a big wrestling fan, and either you collect old wrestling games, or you really want to put that era's classics into a better context, this might be worth a look. And you can also play that really sad game of how many of the wrestlers in this game are dead as you're playing it. So it's like two games in one, Benoit. It's WCW versus the world. Thanks to our tag team partner, Al from Chicago, for sending it in. Chicago? Hey, Al, if you, if you happen to see CM Punk, 
tell, tell him we miss him. Tell him we all miss him. One, two, three!